Again, then, ni modol. Go back to the root is an expression often used by many people. Just uh, starting with that, one example was uh, Taichi Ono, who is known to be the father of Toyota production system, or Lean, which is basically waste elimination. And in my book, I talked about the uh, important waste that we want to eliminate is not to utilize the people's potential. And I think uh, waste elimination has that, the Toyota's idea has that. And the lean operation, I wrote a book about, has spread out, but I believe that's the root of it. So there's a technique and ideas, concept that you can talk about and lots of seminars. But what boils down to it is what's the root of it. And if we find that the root is something, not just Toyota, or not just the lean, but all of us, go back to the root. It's like a tree, I would imagine, that there's a root and then there are lots of branches. And my branch that I'm grown from may go back to the Japanese origin and the Zen, Buddhism, Shintoism, whatever, and ancestors. And I appreciate when I read some of those books, not necessarily from the Japanese background, but from everywhere, Christianity, Hinduism, Sufism, all of that. And I feel that there's an element that I feel that there's some common root. And when I hear those words from different books and the people that I respect, and uh, I have those books, say 15, 20 of them, and spreading out at upstairs in my office, I feel like when I'm there, I'm with those people that I associate with. And I feel great that I have those friends still alive from those books, just sitting there without talking to me, but I feel that. So I started with the Ono that I met, but also the other one I can think about is the Daisetsu Suzuki from Zen and Mr. Nakayama from the physicist background into the Zen, which is more related to the creativity, his view. But it all go back to the root. Root is what? And I often said, it's like a miracle that we are alive. Something happens and whatever the combination of the molecules and atoms and so forth, and with the knowledge and the accumulated experience of the people, maybe even connected to the letters and the monkeys <laughs> when you come to the root of it. Because oh, the living being has that energy or the potential of expressing what they can. So that the tree I mentioned is not just the human tree, but other species, as we may have seen some of those evolution of the species in uh, some kind of museum or national history or whatever they call it. So what's the point of it? I think the triggering event that I thought I want to talk about it is the man named the Ko, uh, Konosuke Matsushita, founder of the Panasonic. And his book is talking about the snow mind, very meek mind. And uh, if we have that mind, whatever that is, we can navigate our life utilizing the skills, come up with the ideas, and move forward. So he talks about the Jiko Kansho, which is reflection of who you are, like watching yourself in the mirror, so that you're not just occupied in what we think and do, but have the reflection of it that we can see, so that we can see ourselves in a more different, let's say, different viewpoint, as if to check and balance. And when we do that, that meek mind and the origin of the mind may go back to the root of who we are, with a sense of perhaps um, more pr prosperity, but mind and body 
um, expressing as it should, following the law of nature, and be happy. So that's that element that we all may possess, not just Japanese or, you know, Americans or the Brazilian, whatever, but even various species may have that root from their DNA. Someone said our human DNA has 50% common with the letters DNA. I haven't verified that, but I can believe that could be the case. Or the string of the DNA, you know, and then how much is common. As, as a matter of fact, I think the monkey uh, DNA and the human DNA has 99.7% of a very high number very in common. So, again, what's the point of this talk? I believe it's something to do with being humble. You know, the life has lots of ups and downs and difficulties. And that gives us the opportunity to evolve, grow. And when we want to go forward, say, climb up to the top of the mountain, there are some problems that happens. The road that, or the hiking trail maybe not there, and it's because of the rain, something happened, or maybe stones falling on to you. So you may have to go backward before going forward. And how much backward do we may need to go through? May have to get to the point of very root of who we are. Revisiting, going beyond the paradigm, thinking outside the box, even thinking beyond thinking, to empty our mind and be humble and sincere and truthful. A state of no mind, if I can use that word, or a meek mind, snow mind that, that Konosuke Matsushita talked about. So, Whenever we have difficulties to come up with the idea, as may be found by Konosuke Matsushita, or Ono, or Nakayama, or Daisetsu, there's something that we can capture, relearn, and to go move forward. And that's the spirit that I want to maintain and to confirm as we, as I move forward. Thank you.